I followed your journey and I'm like, okay, the compa went from, what is it, like 350 pounds? 395. 395 to 250. So I lost a whole person. For people out there that don't know what sea moss does, what does it do to your body and how many minerals does that? Have? Your hair, your skin, your nails, they're going to grow super fast. Your digestion is going to work a lot better. Your bones, your joints are going to feel stronger. Your sexual energy is going to feel stronger. That's what we call your purple power. What advice would you give somebody that is trying to transition from horrible eating habits to healthier choices? It's life or death. If you don't change the way you eat, you're going to die. This is the True Hustle Podcast with your host, JR. This is the True Hustle Podcast with your host, JR. The Moz Plug, my brother. What it do? What's cracking? What's cracking, Copa? How you feeling? I'm excited to be here. You know what's funny? I've been watching your podcast for a while already. Like, you're just watching your videos? That's right. Like, that right? Like, in the beginning, when I started my brand, I told my girl, I'm going to come out on there. Nah. <laughs> no way. Yeah. And now she's like, oh, fuck, it really happened. Yeah, it's funny because it was my birthday on Wednesday. Like, damn, that's a badass birthday present. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, you know what? I posted that uh, that graphic and like fucking 50 people reposted you, bro. I'm like, all right. I, 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 I've been following them. And this is an interesting subject for me. Yeah. Because I'm on this journey. You know, my, my uh, followers know. <laughs> I've experienced a lot of health issues in the last five months. And, you know, I'm like, kind of like, what the fuck? Yeah. He's like, I turned 40 and I feel like, get bad away. Like, I, it's, the car is breaking down, this vehicle. So I'm like, I, I need to make some changes. So I followed your journey and I'm like, okay, the compa went from, what is it, like 350 pounds? 395. Oh, my man. 395 to 250. So I lost a whole person. <laughs> You know? And that right there, people don't understand how hard that is. Yeah, it's hard. I do. So, walk me through that path. Like, for, well, it's pretty for uh, it's pretty obvious why you made that lifestyle change. But how hard was it? Um. Okay. In the beginning, in the beginning, it was more a mental thing. So my girl was. We're both big. Okay. My girl was like three, three hundred. And right now she's like, uh, yeah, like she lost like a hundred pounds already. Her? So, yeah. No, my man. Yeah, she was around that like two nights. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So my girl was really big. She went to a doctor, and they told her like, hey, you need <laughs> you need to figure something out because you you have high cholesterol, have a, all this stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was I was big, but at that moment I didn't really care because I like to drink. I was an oh, alcoholic. Oh, te gustan las pinches chelas. Wednesday to Sunday, nonstop. You can lean back, bro. What? Okay. Yeah, you can pull it a little bit. Okay. Hey, time. Te queremos a gusto, vato, because this is going to go long, compa. All right. So, yeah, so I would drink a lot. And it really affected me because I wanted to see her healthy. You know, I don't want to see her get sick. Okay. And that was one of the things that, like, really triggered into me. And you know what? We said, you know what? Let, let's figure something out. But before then, we had already stopped eating pork. Yes, mm. we had cut out pork, no okay. carnitas, no pozole, no tamales. No, no, no. So you cut off all the good shit, yeah. <laughs> basically. We, we <laughs> nah. cut all those things out. <laughs> but we're already like, on a, like in our mind, like, hey, we want to get better. But my problem was drinking. Like, that was my issue. I drink a lot. You, okay. When you drink, you eat anything. Then te entras a todo, you know? Te so, vale madre. Te vale madre. So when she got ill, we're like, hey, we need to make a change. So what we did was we cut out beef. Mm. We cut out beef. And then from cutting out beef, we cut out chicken. And then we went a few mm -hmm. months, we didn't eat beef or chicken. And then we went, we went on a pescatarian diet for like six months. Mm. Right? And then I don't know where me dio asco. It's fish? Yeah, like, just yeah, me dio asco. Just, like, okay. I don't know why. Like, me asqué. And I was like, nah, well, let's just go vegan. <laughs> Fuck. We went vegan for like a year. Uh huh. And I was like, would I go vegan back? Never again. Is it worth it? No. But what what I noticed was I lost a huge amount of weight in a short period of time. Going vegan. Going vegan. Because, but isn't it like like a vegan diet uh, has a lot of starch? It has a lot of starch, a lot of soy. So, like, people say, oh, yeah, you should eat vegan food. No, I'm going to be honest with you. Vegans, not, I was vegan before. I'm speaking from my experience. I eat meat now. You know, I re really, really healthy. I have an animal-based diet. 
you know, okay. so I really, really healthy. And what I noticed was I lost a lot of weight in a short period of time, okay. you know, and I was like, damn, well, I'm losing weight, but I wouldn't work out. And then, okay. and then let me explain to you another thing that happened. Right. We had a death in our family. My, my, my girl's brother passed away in an accident and we all started drinking again. We all gained weight back. Just gained all our weight back. I'm back at three something. 375, uh, 390, you know, around that wait time. Year, a uh, year passes. Um, we got COVID. We got, uh, you know, fuck. 2021. Yeah. We're big. I'm like, damn, we're going to die, you know. Because <laughs> fucking COVID was. <laughs> yeah. I was, uh, but I wasn't scared because I never, I never wore a mask or nothing. I never okay. wore a mask. I was like, I, I, I'm a firm believer. Like, hey, you know what? If you take care of yourself and you, first of all, your body needs oxygen to breathe, uh-huh. right? I want you to imagine a mask. If you were to put a mask over the air intake of your car, how would uh-huh. your car run? Same thing does here. We don't think about it like that, but we put it on the car. If, you, if your air intake and your car is running, if you're familiar with vehicles, uh-huh. your car's going to run like crap. So the same thing does to your body. That's why I never wore a mask, but I was still fat, you know, I was super big, fat eating, whatever. And that happened. We got COVID. And when we got COVID, we started taking CMOS. I already knew about it, but we started taking CMOS. And I'm talking to a friend in Jamaica. I'm like, hey, you guys take this over there, huh? You guys take CMOS? <laughs> like, we're FaceTiming on WhatsApp. He's like, yo, man, this is a Jamaican style. You're taking some bullshit, man. I'm going to send you the real thing. So I was like, all right, cool. I, was like, I didn't even think about it at, at that point. So he sent me the CMOS, right? I got it shipped to my house from through FedEx. It shipped uh-huh. it to me. And he taught me how to prepare it. I know how to prepare. I prepared it. So the CMOS they gave you was Jamaican uh-huh. style. It's not from TikTok. It's not from YouTube. This is the original Jamaican. It's the original fucking real deal. Holy yard shit. man thing. You know, that's what they call it. Oh. Yard man. Yeah. That's the original. Holy real deal. Holy it, how you said it. Hey, is he going to have me talking like this, man? Yeah. yeah. Oh, <laughs> shit. So I prepared it that way. And I noticed a difference in myself. I was like, damn, this stuff works. So time passed. I left it alone. I never thought about it to sell it. I never thought about maybe getting a brand. I, I didn't really have social media before, honestly. Mm-hmm. I went on I went on uh, Instagram and I would see CMOS everywhere. Just CMOS, CMOS, CMOS. I was like, damn, this stuff is fake. What if I start a brand? I made a brand. I started as an experiment, the Moss Plug. That wasn't even supposed to be the name. I just, <laughs> just made a random ass name, the Moss Plug. I was like, I didn't even have a logo, bro. And I started doing marketing, like, on different pages. Uh-huh. And that's how people started to know about it. You know, right now we're two years, two and a half years later. That's fucking crazy. Yeah. For people out there that don't know what CMOS does, what does it do to your body? And how many minerals does that? So one thing it does help out with, your concentration. Really? It's a lot better. Like, me, I'm a person that I know this with you. You're like a super ADD, hyperactive person. Super. I noticed it right away. Yeah. I you won't know. St- I can't stay still. <laughs> <laughs> Me either. That's why we're doing this, moving the chair around. <laughs> but so one thing it does helps out with your concentration mentally. Second, you're gonna notice in your body, your strength. I feel a lot stronger on myself. I really? never really worked out. Now I actually started working out and you see the workout yeah. videos I've been doing. So me and my boy, that's a he's a director, we're making a show on YouTube, workout show to give, help me lose more weight. Okay. So that's the second thing you're going to notice. Another thing is your hair, your skin, your nails. They're going to grow super fast. Really? Yeah. Your energy in your body, so you're going to feel a lot better. Your digestion is going to work a lot better. Your bones, your joints are going to feel stronger. Mm-hmm. Your sexual energy is going to feel stronger. That's what we call it, purple power. No way. Yeah. So it kind of serves on like a, like, you, like you're not going to need Viagra, basically? That's you're what you're not saying? You're not going to need that, bro. You don't need that stuff. The reason people Damn. have to take Viagra and sal- sal- selenophil, I don't even know how to say it, selenophil, the ingredients in Viagra, okay. these are for uh-huh. Cialis and all those things, because they lack the minerals, they lack collagen, they lack all those things. Your your penis is made out of collagen. <laughs> your ears Shit. are made out of collagen. Your nose is made out of collagen. You know, so when you're consuming CMOS, it creates collagen, bu- builds up your collagen in your skin, your penis, everywhere, everywhere in your brain. It has the night minerals your no body needs to so feel stronger. Is that why Dr. Sevy said that all you really need is like CMOS? Yeah. So I do, I don't know if you've seen, but I, I do fast. 
I, there's there's months where I just fast for like a couple of days. Where I don't eat anything. Just sea moss and water. That's I actually just crazy. got off for a seven day fast last month. Okay. I'm doing this month. Okay. What do you mean by a seven day fast? You don't eat shit? Nothing, bro. You're crazy. <laughs> <laughs> when you do that, you feel like you can conquer the world. It's like when you go into a fast, what your body does, it starts consuming all your bad cells, your dead cells, your cancer cells, anything bad in your body, your fat, it starts eating as energy. It goes into survival mode. Our body has this built into our, it's part of our, our, our system to survive. Wow. You know, so when you go into fast, your body starts to eat its own fat. It starts to eat its cancer cells, its bad cells, any toxins you have in there uses them up as energy so you can survive. How do you feel? You feel good? Okay, wait, wait. The first, okay, the first to second day, you f- first, second day, you'll feel like good, right? The third day, once you get past the third day, you're good. But on the third day, your temptations start playing with you. Your mind starts playing with you. It's not your stomach. It's not that, oh, I'm hungry. No, it's your mind, bro. Because you could be somewhere and people are cooking. Or, hey, you want something? Quieres comer algo? Quieres algo tomar? And that's where it starts to play those little games. With so you. then what could you... Oh, okay. On this fast, you could only drink water? Oh, I just drink water and sea moss. So the way I, I built myself up to that, I didn't start doing that right away. I would go on a fruit fast, just eat sea moss. I'll do it for a day, two days, three days. And eventually I started building, building myself up to push myself to that limit. The longest I did was a seven. But I didn't start right away. Fuck. So I started one time, just one day. All right? Mm-hmm. And then the next time I did it, it was a two day. And so on and so forth. So my plan is to do it for at least two weeks. 10 to, 10 to 14 Fuck. days. Fuck. Just water and sea moss for fucking 15 days? Yeah. And you feel? I don't know how I could do that. On the fifth day, bro, you feel like you could take over the world. Your body has really? so much energy. I don't If you guys, it's hard to explain, but like somebody has done it before, like your mind just feels like nothing can stop you. It's crazy, really? bro. You get a lot of energy. Like you just want to, like since Travesa I'm going to knock them out, you know? <laughs> no You way. feel that energy in your body in a positive way where like, okay, nothing can stop me. There's no barriers in between me because it's a mental thing. At the end of the day, your body doesn't need the food to survive. Your body's, if you're big, your body's eating itself to survive. So somebody like myself, I got a lot of excess, you know, yeah. fat, you know, or somebody that's really, really big, three, 400 pounds, they can fast for a really long time and not pass away, not get ill. All they need is water. You know what I'm saying? That, so that takes a lot of mental. Ment- yeah, it's yeah. mental toughness. That's what it is. And that's another reason why I do it to build up my mental toughness. Oh fuck! Yeah. I, I just, just the thought of me not eating for two weeks stresses plan, me bro. out, dog. <laughs> like stresses me out. Like right now, I'm like, fuck. What time I gotta eat? Because you know I worked out. Yeah. Okay, that's actually a great point. During this fast, you're still working out. You're still lifting weights. I just started working out, so I can say <laughs> like. Huh. Oh, we were doing all this endurance. No, I would lift weights, don't do nothing crazy, but I wouldn't like run or because when you run, you burn, you know, you burn more up. So we're just lifting weights, something simple. But I'm an active person. I'm up and down every day. I'm never in one place. I'm always running around, either shipping, getting supplies. Like I'm super, super busy where we're just everywhere, you know? So a lot of people say, well, what do you do? Like, People think I just chill, just wait for orders and send emails out. It doesn't work. <laughs> you know? Just like you, you know, you're you're in real estate, yeah. bro. You gotta go check on the houses. You gotta yeah. go fix this. You gotta go fix that. We gotta get a lot of things together, like jars, our water. Our I use special water. I use Kangen water, nine point five. That's what I use for the CMOS. So your CMOS is the shit, it's basically. The shit, bro. My limes come from Mexico. My CMOS from Jamaica. And you could ship that anywhere. Then I ship everywhere, bro. All over the country, just now outside the country. Canada, I have, but not Mexico. They won't let us in. Really? Yeah. Any special paperwork and all that stuff. 
So aside from the sea moss, when you're not fasting, like what does the diet consist of? Because you said you would eat meat. Yeah, I ate meat. Like yesterday, I ate um, chicken, uh-huh. vegetables. One of my, f- if you guys don't know how to like cook or how to eat healthier, or would like you struggle with that? Let me give you guys a simple tip: chile, tomate, cebolla. That's it. You don't really? know what to cook. Pones a guisar chile, tomate, cebolla, and whatever you're going to mix. You can mix chicken, you can mix fish, you can mix meat. Mix it up. You're good to go. That's a really healthy meal. Is there a particular meat that you eat? Yeah. No beef. diddy? No diddy? Beef? <laughs> yeah, no diddlers. <laughs> <laughs> so beef. I eat a lot. I eat beef. I eat chicken. Obviously, I don't eat pork. I eat seafood. I eat bison. I eat deer. I eat liver. I eat heart. All those things. So, so if you guys never tried liver and heart, it's amazing, bro. It tastes liver? So, yeah, it tastes My so mom bad. likes liver. Con chile tomate cebolla tastes so bomb. So I get ground beef mixed with like, heart. Okay, liver. what are the benefits of liver? It has, it's high in iron. Vitamin B12, B6. You know, really? So, yeah, so it's a good source of iron. But doesn't it smell? No, because you prepare it right. So if you get chile tomate cebolla with limon, cilantro, it doesn't taste bad. That's so if you guys that don't know how to, my girl cooks all of, like the bomb ass meals she's the one that makes them not me but if you guys don't know how to cook chile tomate cebolla is the way to go it just makes it easier it makes it super easy another thing I'm super picky with is the oils avocado oil butter we use you know uh, we don't cook with lard or vegetable oil olive oil is great on fresh food not cooked because when you heat it up because because the carcinogenic it oxidizes and all those things, so you want to stay away from like the seed oils. And I know there's a huge improvement with that. Even though I was eating healthier, I'll still get breakouts on my chest. No, I don't anymore. I used, to, I used to have really bad acne. I used to have brittle nails. I used to feel tired, weak all the time, big, fat. Dude, I used to fall asleep on the steering wheel. That's how fat I was. Driving, me quedo dormido. Stop. Yeah. So I'll be like just driving, <coughs> drinking Wednesday to Sunday, nonstop. I, I love the alcohol. I love liquor. Now I don't really drink. I mean, I just drink tequila. That's it. Con agua mineral. It's poison, yeah. essentially. Yeah. But to say like, oh, I'm going to go get drunk. No, that's, that's not me. You know. Do you think um, where you shop at matters? Like oh, let's say, yeah, bro, let's say time. shopping at Superior versus shopping at Sprouts. Oh yeah, Superior. Nah, I wouldn't be able to do it. <laughs> <laughs> I Why? Even, why? Because it's a grocery store. They're just there to. I mean, it's a business. You know, they're there to make money. They're not sourcing the best vegetables without any pesticides, any chemicals in them. So that's very important, I'll, especially here in the United States. A lot of our vegetables, a lot of our produce has glyphosate in it. I don't, know if you're familiar, I don't know if you know what glyphosate is. So that's that spray. Have you ever seen Roundup? The weed killer? Stop. Yeah. Dude, that's one of the number one causes of cancer is glyphosate. So people that actually work in that industry, like landscaping, or any of that spray that stuff, are more susceptible, susceptible to getting those illnesses because they're touching these chemicals on a daily basis. What? Yeah. So that's why you got to be very, very selective on where you guys buy your produce. It's very important. Like, where I live in Riverside, there's people that, there's, there's actual farms that sell produce. They sell you onions, they sell tomatoes. Don't go, don't go over there, guys. It's already, it's already full. <laughs> 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 you know, we got our oranges, we got our dates, we got mangoes, we got every, all the produce people. There's people there that grow this stuff. You got eggs, you got people that sell chicken, you know, so I like to buy everything local. And whatever they don't have there, I go to Sprouts, Trader Joe's, or Costco. That's it. How is that legal to spray if they know that these chemicals, these pesticides cause certain illnesses? Money, bro. Money. It's a big industry. That shit is huge. Glyphosate is in everything. It's in the cereals. It's in our produce. It's in our fruits. So a lot of people say, yeah, everything can kill you. Yes, that's why you have to be very selective on what you put in your body. They're spraying shit in the air. All these fumes that you're breathing outside. The water has fluoride in it. That's why you got to be selective on what type of water you drink. You can't just go to the store and buy Dasani. You know what I'm saying? 
you got to be very selective with these little things. And that's why I'm, that's why I like making those videos that I make. I used to be embarrassed to make videos, but I'm like, no, I got to share this with people because people don't know these things. And I dumb it down for people in the hood. I come from the hood. I'm from out here from Paramount, you know? So I dumb it down so people can understand it. Because you see all these people, that talk, they throw these big words somewhere around. People don't understand. <coughs> and I feel like I can talk to everyone, you know, and show them these little details that they can just change. You don't have to stop eating food. You can still eat. I enjoy carne asada. I enjoy steaks. I enjoy all those things. But I'm very selective on where I eat and who I eat from. And this is how picky I am. If I go to a party, if you guys invite me anywhere, please don't feel bad. I probably won't eat. You know? No way. Yeah, I just won't eat. Because I'm very... And even if it has some bomb ass tacos? Not even the tacos, bro. Oh, I didn't want to get into tacos right now. We'll get into that part. But Actually, I have a taco question. Okay. So should I ask you now or ask you later? You can ask it now. Okay. What is the healthiest choice for tacos? Asada. But where do you get the asada from? Okay, you got two kinds of taqueros. This it comes down to the taquero. You got your taquero that uses <coughs> a, a plancha, a skillet. Mm -hmm. Those are not tacos. I'm sorry, guys. Step it up. Go to Tijuana. I lived. I would live in TJ a couple months out of the year because I, I would just be out there a lot mm -hmm. when I was a little kid. Everywhere in Tijuana, everyone is cooking a las brasas on a fire. Those are real tacos. When you go right here, the little taco guy in the corner mm -hmm. cooking on a plancha, just cooking with oil and meat. You know, grease. You want to eat meat that's cooked on the charcoal, on wood, you know? If you cook it on a plancha, you want to cook it yourself. Don't go to the little taco guy in the corner, you know? Because that stuff is unhealthy. They're just cooking with canola oil. And they're probably cooking with the cheapest oil they probably can, too, that one, two, three. I know what you're talking about. Every Mexican household has that stuff, you know? So it's crazy that we know it's unhealthy, but we're still cooking it. Mm-hmm. You guessed right, this episode is brought to you by the JR Group. If you're looking to buy, refinance, or invest in any type of real estate, give us a call at 323-352-7946. Now let's get back to the episode, baby. And that's what I always tell people, like, you can still eat tacos. You just got to be very, very selective. And you want to look for tortillas made out of nix tamal. Not regular tortillas, the Guerrero stuff. It just falls apart and breaks because that's all these preservatives and all these things. Nixtamal is made through an alkalization process with lime and water. It's alkaline. They use real corn. In Mexico, it's illegal to spray glyphosate on corn. They just won a huge lawsuit against Roundup in Mexico. They want they banned that shit from over there because they don't want glyphosate there because they know corn is a huge staple of the Mexican <coughs> diet. You got your tamales, you got your tacos, you got it. But you know, they make everything out of corn, you know? So if you guys are going to get tortillas, get tortillas that are nixtamalizadas or get masa que está nixtamalizada. It's called nixtamal. It only has like two ingredients. Okay. Where do you get that from? Because I know I'm just like you guys right now. I'm like, holy shit, this is a lot of info. Okay. Like, I'm like, fuck. My mom watches this, so mi la ma. Puras pichis tortillas, what'd you say? Nixtamalizadas. Nixtamalizadas. <laughs> so where do we get those type of products? So you could buy the, the masa like a certain health food stores. You can make it at home. You buy the corn, the actual corn itself. It's like purple, red, blue, and you, you grind it up. You okay. make it into a product. You guys can look it up. There's Is there something simpler that we could buy that's already made? Yeah, there's different brands. There's one called Blue Masa. That one's good. I like it because it's blue, just mm. like your... Your so sweater. it's a taco. No, tortillas are blue. Like the masa is blue, blue. What so I would be eating like a blue taco. Yeah, blue taco. Like Dodger blue? Yeah, like Dodger blue. Ah, yeah. got him. <laughs> That's right, baby. Yeah, like, like Dodger blue. So so that would be really good, you know, for uh, making tortillas at home. It's called blue blue masa. Right now, you just got my fucking mind just going at a thousand. So it's also the majority fiber. of the shit that we consume, it's nasty. Yeah, it's really bad, bro. It's really, really bad. If I were to eat in the street, like, say, a burger, I think the only place I would eat at is In-N-Out. That's right. That's it. So no Whataburger? Nah, Whataburger is whack. I tried it already. This is whack as fuck. Uh, yeah, In-N-Out is where it's at, bro. 
three by but three. why but why in and out why because they use real beef the only thing they're lacking is the oil they use a the soybean oil that's the only thing but their meat is real let's let's touch on that on oils the majority of us at home cook with vegetable oil mm-hmm that's, that's a no-go. That's not good. And it was, and it was um, marketed to people as a healthier alternative. It's healthier, Sigun. You know, it's all oh, you eat vegetable oil. It's healthier than lard. It's healthier than, than butter. But that stuff is, see, when you heat it up to a certain temperature, I forgot the temperature, but you can look it up. When you heat it up to a cer- certain temperature, it becomes carcinogenic to your body. So you're consuming this stuff. Carcinogenic like smoking a cigarette. You know, so... You want to stay away from seed oils, which is corn, vegetable, soybean. Um, the other one, uh, olive oil is mm. also carcinogenic, but it's not carcinogenic when it's heat when it's cold. You know what I mean? Mm. Grape seed oil, all those things. So olive oil is really really good for your digestion, but you must eat it cold, not hot. As a drizzle on your vegetables, on mm. your on your food, you don't cook with it. It's more like a dressing. So what would be the her, the the healthiest alternative when you are going to heat it up? Butter, if you're going to bro- fry something. Butter, beef tallow, avocado oil. Some people say lard, but me personally I don't I don't mess with pork. But they say lard is healthier, healthy in that category as well. But just pick, I have 8 years of eating pork, bro. Hey. Why was that so important? Is they're just disgusting. They, <laughs> you know, they eat their own shit. <coughs> they'll eat another pig. They'll eat a, they'll eat a, if you throw a human in there, they'll eat it. You know what I mean? So like, it's just pork is just nasty, bro. It's it's a disgusting. So thing. there's no health benefits. That's yeah. what you're saying. It's pe- so oh, there's bodybuilder I, guys that call it. it's a great source of protein. I have people tell me. Oh, so al pastor? Nah, nah, I wouldn't eat it, bro. Uh, just being honest, you know. Uh, oh, that's um, my favorite. I don't eat, <laughs> hey, you can make chicken al pastor. It tastes good. Uh, it, it don't taste, taste the same. Good. Fool. I enjoy those little motherfuckers. It's like, bacon. yeah. So the, the the pork is some disgust disgusting creature. They eat everything. Which is the healthiest creature that you would eat? I'll say beef, wild caught fish. Just beef, grass fed beef. You know, from Europe. Um, you know, Ireland, Uruguay. You know, Portu- Portugal. Do you think? Uh, the shit that we do here in the U.S., it's pretty much banned in other countries, right? Bro, this is where I'm getting to when you asked me earlier, what stores do you shop at? Trader Joe's? If you go into, like, their pasta section or anything like that, their dressings, you want to buy Italian products. Because all these chemicals, all those things are banned in Italy. It's illegal, bro. You go to prison for selling that stuff. So you want to go to Trader Joe's. A lot of people think that pasta from Italian pasta is expensive. It's not. A little pack of Italian pasta is like a dollar. But they, the pendejos van a la Ralph's and compran uno que cuesta 10 dollars because it's Ralph's. You know what I mean? <laughs> Just go to Trader Joe's. It's a dollar. You go okay. To- people think that they're going to spend more money at Trader, Trader, Joe, Trader Joe's and Sprouts. Yeah. That's but not that's, not, that's not the case. That's not the case. Also, mm. people confuse it where they confuse healthier eating with being more expensive. But look, this this is what you got right now going on. You got people that still want to buy their hot Cheetos, their sodas, their lunchables, their hot pockets, and still buy healthy food. Tell me, isn't that gonna be pretty expensive? You're buying both, right? And they're like, oh well, what about the kids? Make the little motherfuckers eat healthy. <laughs> you know? Make them eat healthy. I mean, you are the parent. You are the parent. It's your responsibility for them to eat healthy. Right now, there's so many obese children. I was an obese child. My grandma used to feed me oatmeal in a baby bottle, bro. So I could get big. We're all big in our family. We're all fat. Like, super fat. I wasn't the fattest one. I was 395 pounds. So I wasn't the fattest one. Just think how big everyone else was. Oh, like the second or third. <laughs> oh, shit. So, just imagine, like, people want to still give all these chocolates. They still want to give them cereales and licuados to their little kids that are developing and growing. Sugar is a highly addictive substance, the most addictive substance in the world. All these sugars, all these processed sugars is really harmful for your body. So, when you're feeding your kids Choco Crispies, 
Puta. Pancakes with Aunt Jemima, high fructose corn syrup. And then later on, they eat dinner and they drink a Coca-Cola, you know? And then you fed them a Hot Pocket. We're all guilty. You know, or a Fanta. Now you just fed them a concoction of artificial food dyes, sugars, and high, highly addictive substances. That's why there's so many kids right now that have ADD, ADHD, autism, all these things, because they're... Their parents start feeding them. Okay, pa- oh, we're going to a party. Here's a paleta. Oh, pa que se calle. Que se, que se calle, but that shit's full of food coloring, bro. It's full of food dyes. It just disrupts the brain, the way it works, the chemistry in there. So what would be the healthiest choice to feed kids? Like, what are the healthiest options that you feel like, all right, this is what we should be eating versus all this other bullshit? Whole food, eggs. I follow this guy, Eddie, Eddie Abel. He's from, from, from England. Eat eggs and steak. Stop playing. He's a black dude. He's a big old black buff dude. He's a bodybuilder, but he's super, super healthy. He's like, eggs. Eggs, meat, chicken, real food. You don't have to feed your kids pancakes every day or pop pockets. You know, it doesn't make sense. Why do you want to feed on that stuff? You can still make pancakes, though, by the way. How? Just buy natural flour, natural pancakes. They sell it at Sprouts. Oh, that's the one we use. Mm. Please scare me, fool. What the one? <laughs> fool, you fucking the, scare it, me. It, I'm just like you guys right now. Like, I get into all these conversations, and I'm living this. We are we are all living this in real time. Yeah. Like, we're trying to make the best choices for our kids, and I'm like, because my, ki- my son loves pancakes. I love pancakes. So <laughs> I'm like, no, 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 ni madres. So I, we got the ones from Sprouts. Yeah. Oh, thank you. You, you made me yeah, feel that better. Good. Well, the syrup, what kind of syrup do uh, you use? That's important. I'm trying to buy anything and everything from Sprouts. Okay. So, if you okay, buy what kind Sprouts? of syrup? Okay, because she, she's going to listen to this. It's maple syrup, Canadian maple syrup. Comes in a glass <coughs> bottle. It's not, it's, not, it's not expensive. It's probably like 12 bucks for like a 32-ounce bottle, you know. But people say, well, that's kind of a lot. Like, what the hell? You want to eat pancakes every day? The cereal bottle should last you a cool while, you know? It should last you like I mean, a It shouldn't last you two days. It yeah. should last you for fucking two months. Yeah. Minimum. I mean, you shouldn't be eating pancakes every day anyways. Yes. You, you know, they're good. I mean, I was still eat pancakes. I ate some the other day. But my girl, oh, my girl found out a recipe how to make pancakes from banana and egg. Ooh, those are fire. Okay, well, how no. can you share that recipe, bro? I'll have her share it. I'll have her share it. So, basically, what she does is you got to get ripe bananas. They're already, like, because it's not... Uh-huh. You smash them up, mix them with egg, whisk, whisk them, and you flatten them out, and you just cook them. You make them like a tortilla shape, and it turns to pancakes. You learning full? And full single it, right there. Just so. add a little bit of milk. They're fire, bro. They are super fire, nice and fluffy. You add some milk, they become fluffy just like regular pancakes. There's no flour in them. 100% natural. I seen you post a video. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm Mexican. You're Mexican. <laughs> that guy's <is> Mexican. <laughs> And you know how we love fucking aguacates, bro. Oh, aguacates are so good for you. They're fucking bomb. They're so good for you. They're so delicious. But you said you had one and you were like, it has this number. So this is what that means. No, I didn't not. know that. So could you let us know, like, what is the healthiest pick? So you have an avocado with the number nine. It means it's organic. No pesticides were added to the avocado. You can only find these type of avocados at stores like Costco. Trader Joe's and Sprouts. Sprouts, <coughs> Trader Joe's, and Costco are very against having bad shit in their food when it comes to their produce. They're very picky with that. Did they find out a brand is adding stuff to their produce? They cancel them out. They will never supply their product ever again. That's a great thing about Costco. I don't shop at Sam's Club. Sam's Club too ghetto for me. I'm a Costco baby. Ha! <laughs> he said too ghetto for me. <laughs> Fuck the Salgate one. Hey, chill. Hey, you know? I've been That's going to Costco. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to remember your uh, yeah. uh, Firestone. Yeah. Uh, Edwards Theater. Yeah. Yeah, I used to go right there. Denim Exchange. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, the Denim Exchange. Though. Yeah, I used to go right there. But it's funny because I've been going to Costco since I was a little kid. But I never realized that until I got older. And I got a, a Sam's Club membership. They gave me a credit card, and I went to go check it out. I was like, damn, this store is ghetto, you know? <laughs> you see all the little kids running around yeah, and shit. Yeah, and then, like, the food is very low quality. I mean, you got to think about it. It's owned by Walmart. Walmart does not give a shit about your health. They don't care about your health. It's just like Amazon. Walmart's like a storefront, but of Amazon. You got Amazon, it's online. You got Walmart, is in store. 
So that's a difference. You know, Walmart, Amazon, similar that, but different. Is that why everything's cheaper there? Everything's super cheaper there. Everything. They don't give a fuck. They don't. They don't care. They don't care about your health. They don't care about the ingredients. They do have some organic things there, but, not but then organic. again, I don't trust them, bro, because. Bill Gates came out with this thing called a peel. I don't know if you heard of it. No. It's a special coating to protect the produce from spoilage. It says organic, but I don't know about you. I don't trust Bill Gates, bro. I don't know. That fool's kind of iffy right now, dog. I never trusted him. You know, and I, he, then he definitely got bullied when he was little. <laughs> 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 you know? But um, Walmart is not against a peel. Either Sam's Club Costco is, Trader Joe's is, Sprouts is. They ain't playing that shit, you know? They want to make sure. That, that's what those stores stand behind. They make sure they give you fresh, good produce. You know, Sprout stands for that. They they, they don't fuck around when it comes to that. Now, even, even the store is nice. The store is nice. Now, when it comes to their packaged goods, that's a whole different story. Who, Sprouts? Yeah, because not everything in there is healthy. And their package items. Because now, Sprouts has become so big, a huge, huge corporation Anyone can contact them and say, hey, would you guys like to carry my product? They hit them up. Oh, yeah, sure. Let me check out your labeling. Anybody can create organic labeling. Dude, they got so much stuff at Sprouts that is it's not healthy. When it comes to their package items, now when it comes to their produce <coughs> and their meats, that's where you want and their seafood. That's where you want to be. But when it comes to package items, you got to be very, very selective on what you buy. And you really got to okay. look up. I look up brands and I see what they stand for and who they are and why they created the product. If I see it's just a brand that just created something just to make an income. Okay. Okay. We just went down the rabbit hole. All right. Yes. Now I'm going to be like, now I got some questions. <laughs> Anybody could package your own shit and put whatever on the label? Anyone, bro. How can you track that? How can you verify that? How could you certify that? So you got companies out there, for example, like CMOS. I can hit up a company I could find on Google. So I'm, hey, can you guys make me a CMOS brand? I want my special labeling on it. You don't know where these people are getting the CMOS from. It's probably coming from China, you know, growing in a pool or Vietnam, St. Lucia. They grow in pools or they grow in ropes, you know, and they bring it out here and they, they, they turn it into whatever product you want. That's very specific with the supplement industry. A lot of supplements are white label from China. Are you familiar with white label? No. Okay. Let's say. I'm learning just like you guys. Okay. True Hustle wants to start, I don't know, a creatine brand or protein brand, right? Um, the Mas Mamado brand. Yeah, Mas Mamado. Boom. Me, Mas Mamado, right? You Cabrones. hit on it. You go on Alibaba <coughs> and you find someone that makes protein, right? Hey, I want to make protein. Can you slap my logo on it? What are your sizing? Oh, can you also add a Made in USA label on it as well? Oh, sure. No problem, my friend. You know, just pay a little extra. Okay, no problem. So now you created the brand. You pay them. You wait, what, two weeks, a month? They ship out all your products. And you'll be like, hey, well, now you walk up to Nutrition, nutrition Zone or you're going up to Sprouts. and be like, hey, I got my own uh, supplement brand, Masmo Amado. You guys want to buy it? You guys want to, I'll sell it to you wholesale. Oh, where's it made? Oh, look, it's made in USA. That's simple, bro. Stop. That's no, simple. No, no, no. What? Check. They don't check. They, they don't have time to check. They're a big ass company. You think they're gonna worry about your little supplement brand? When they got all these products going, all this shit going on, they're not gonna check, bro. They're not gonna verify. That's how easy it is for them to infiltrate the big corporations. It's super easy. Not just that. These guys that start these brands, they already have money. So look, they're pinching every penny, every dollar to see where they can cut on their expenses to create something to sell because they know they're going to be able to sell it because they already have a brand. They already have a, a network. They already have an audience. So they're already looking. They're focused on Fuck. what can I make money on. And that's what a lot of things, bro, especially supplements, your packaged food. All those protein bars that people, all these bodybuilders eat, I would love, hey, you guys have huge discipline to get like that. But, like, those protein bars are super unhealthy. Just eat meat. Eat a damn bold egg, you know? So a protein shake, all that shit, anybody could slap on and say. Anyone. 
Oh, fuck that shit. I can show oh. you right now. Back pain. Uh-huh. I'm experiencing that a lot. And I'm not the only one. A lot of my cousins, a lot of Latinos, you know, we... I don't know why, why the fuck we suffer from back pain, right? Mm-hmm. So you're saying that CMOS could, could help, help you out. It could. Yeah. Do you, why? Because of the minerals or the is minerals, it? collagen, antioxidants. It just really depends on your diet. Your pre, I, I don't know if you have an injury from when you were uh, younger. I think it you know, could also be to. that as well. But it also can help improve the symptoms of it. Does CMOS help with inflammation? Oh, yeah. It's definitely great for inflammation. Definitely great for inflammation, any type of joint pain, any type of back pain, um, inflammation of the... F- I, I, are you familiar with Bell's palsy? No. No? You know what that is? Uh, Have you heard of it? Yeah, I've heard of it. So Bell's palsy is when you're faced like a truck and you're like See. this. It's kind of like a stroke. I had that before. What? Yeah. Can you tell I had it? Nah. I healed myself. I have pictures, bro. I'm not saying just to like sound cool or nothing. But, but you healed had, yourself with sea moss, fasting, um, this special oil. I don't know if I can say it, but it's made out of uh, oh, made out of weed. You know, yeah. You know, so I use a special oil, Rick Simpson oil, RSO. So I use that sea moss, fasting, Palo Azul, different herbs, and I heal myself in less than four days or twelve days. What? Yeah. Twelve days. And what the doctors tell you? That was gonna so take I did, forever. I did, I did four days of acupuncture. And then the rest was just, just the herbs and stuff working on its own. There's people that get stuck like that permanently. Okay, yeah. Doctor Sevi, uh-huh. I have to bring him up. He would bring up sea moss a lot. Yeah, he would definitely bring up sea moss a lot. I seen a few of his videos a lot. He instructs his people to become vegan, alkaline vegan. I I'm gonna be lying to you and say, oh, I'm alkaline vegan. And I'm, I'm not. I'm okay. not a vegan. But what? he also did not tell people not to eat meat. He told people you could eat the buffalo, you could eat the fish, the wild boar, all those things. So when it comes to Dr. Sabi, I can't speak too much of him a lot. Uh-huh. One, because I didn't study his work a lot. I didn't. I'm going to be real with you. Because I'm not an alkaline vegan. Alkaline vegan is when you only eat alkaline vegan okay. plant foods. That's what I was going to say. Okay, what is alkaline vegan? So alkaline vegan plant foods, foods that are of natural origin that do, do not come through scientological process. So natural food, you know. Okay. So it's, it's just natural food like that was already here. I know it's a lot, guys, but you guys will thank us later. This shit is getting like. Like I said, I can't fuck. speak too much about that because I'm not yeah. an alkaline vegan. Yeah. I was yeah. a vegan soy boy. <laughs> you know, I was vegan, just eating vegan food, you know, so. But her alkaline vegan diet is really good for you. Let's get your mic a little bit more. Alkaline vegan diet is really well, good for you, but I'm not vegan. I, I don't like being vegan. After, and you know what, it was it was, a, it was a time in my life where I experienced something very traumatic that I became vegan. Could you tell us about it? It was out of survival as well. It wasn't just because of diet. I was broke as shit. <laughs> 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 you know? So I was literally eating beans and rice, bro, every day for like a year. Just <laughs> beans and rice. We were broke as fuck. Well, it, it tends to happen that way sometimes, yeah, you, know? you know? So I thought it was being the easiest way to lose weight and to save money and not have high expenses. And that's why I became vegan, you know? Eating beans. And, I literally ate beans and rice. But you could still be overweight. Yeah. You could still be, be overweight. Vegan. I lost weight during that time. But a lot of people confuse struggle meals like eating sopa maruchan. Maruchan and... Con tu uh, uh, limón? I don't like that shit. I never ate that. Oh, Hell no. Nah. I did. I ate beans and rice. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, man. I Honestly, I... Only time I ate it when I was drunk. That was so it. me, sober and drunk, it didn't uh, matter. Una pinche sopa maruchan, bien calientita, con un chingo de tapatío y un chingo de limón. Mwah. <laughs> Who else? And, oh, another time and the pilon on top will be the flaming hot or Doritos. That's a drenched in tapatio. What? What? <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, I only ate that one when I was in jail. I was in, jail before. <laughs> was in jail, you made it a spread. Yeah, you made it a spread, but then it started even like it. I, I always bought burgers. I had burgers. How was your diet in jail? Now that you brought it up. Burgers. That was it? Yeah, just burgers, frozen burgers, frozen cheeseburgers. I didn't, I didn't feel right eating maruchan, you know. I was like, "Fuck this shit." 
But in jail, you would eat maruchan just like that. Yeah. And then drink water. Not about burgers. I don't know. I heard. You would just. sneak in food from outside. Those sneakers in food, you know. Uh, Machaca, you know, stuff like that. So. I was only I was only in jail for like three months though, so nothing crazy. Did you but learn Did you learn something in there that you were like, ah, you know what, this ain't the place for me? I was. Yeah, I met a lot of crazy ass people because I was in San Diego. Crazy ass people, like. Because they were still, that's a border town. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I met different kind of people that from here. They're like, oh shit! Like these people, these are the people they talked about in, in those uh, documentaries. You know? Oh fuck! Yeah, so they're real cool. They're real respectful. Um, anybody that just came, I was well, just I, I had a little extra. Like, hey, you guys need something? Oh, no trip, homie. Appreciate it. I'm like, I'm, I'm a paisa. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not I'm <laughs> I'll just let y'all know. You know, I don't roll with that. But, oh, <laughs> hey, don't put me y'all mix. You know, about here, I'll hook you up with something. You know what I mean? So, but um. That was one thing I learned, and, and I mean, I, I never like eating bullshit food. Anyways, it's just I was fat and ate everything. How did I didn't you, like maruchan? Okay, that was one thing I never liked. <laughs> How did you allow yourself to get to almost four hundred pounds? Depression. I was very depressed. Um, as a kid, I had some things happen to me that should never happen to children, ever, and that just fucked with me like my whole life. You know, um, you know is I mean? it something that we could elaborate on, or something you don't want to talk about? I don't want to talk about it too much. Okay. Get too much into it because I'm gonna be, you know, doing something with that. Yeah, uh, nothing bad, but you know, just okay. You know, but um, it forced me into certain positions of my life where I had to leave my home at an early age. Really? I yeah. What I could talk about is like we used to fight a lot. You know, I mm. used to fight. It was my brother's dad. Mm. The dude broke my nose, bro. Like, a <laughs> the he broke. Fool. He yeah. broke. He, yeah. he broke your nose. As a at what kid. age? I was a little kid. Like a little kid, I was probably like eight or nine. Oh, he is a bitch ass fool. Yeah, <laughs> I agree. Yeah. You know, he broke my nose. I mean, we'll go out to eat, and they tell my mom like, "Hey, you're gonna pay for your son. You got it." Like, what the fuck? Like, man, fuck you, you know? So I got older, squabbled him, you know? But he did some stuff to me, like, it really fucked up my head as a child. Where I had to leave my home as... Dude, I graduated early from high school so I could leave my house. I okay, paid people okay. in my class to do my homework so I because I wasn't good at school. So I could leave my house. I, left my, I was sleeping in my van. I had a minivan, Astro van. I'll sleep in there, such as I'll sleep at a friend's house. And it just forced me into a certain part of my life where I had to learn how to adjust and grow up at an early age. I didn't have a, like, I didn't grow up in a, like, in a bad neighborhood. I just grew up in a fucked up household, you know? Oof. And I had to learn certain things, started hanging around certain people, start selling weed. And, like, hey, well, you want to hang, dude, they will tell me, you want to hang out with your friends that ain't doing nothing with their life? Or you want to come with us and make some money? Oh, I'll fucking learn this shit, you know? Okay. Yeah. I'm the sponsor of the True Hustle Podcast. The JR Group, baby. We do real estate. If you want to buy, invest, or any questions you might have about real estate, give us a call. 323-352-7946. Now, let's get back to the episode, baby. Let me ask you this. Throughout this whole... Uh, oh, what well, is a fucked up upbringing? Yeah. I mean, damn, your stepdad punched you in the fucking face? What the fuck is wrong with that fool? Where was your mom? And what was she doing and what was she not doing? Like, That's well, what I'm trying to figure out right there. now. I talk to my mom all the time, bro. Like, It's crazy, but I told her what happened <coughs> to me to the day she don't even believe me. I remember every a little detail. I have a photogenic memory. That's what I was telling my girl earlier. I can meet someone here today, in, right here in this office, or just walking by in the street, and I can run into them in Ontario or Rancho Cucamonga. Hey, I, I seen you the other day. I seen you last week. 
I have a memory of those little details of things of people. I have, when it comes to certain things like like spelling, I'm not good at that shit. You know, I use Chat GPT. That's my assistant right there. <laughs> you know? But I have a so vivid memory of a lot of things in my life. I can remember things up to when I was one years old. I have a really great memory of things. I might not remember something that happened last week or yesterday. Dang. But I can remember vivid things. I'll probably remember that thing maybe a month or now that happened last week. You get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I don't know. Some people's minds work like that. I have. So me growing up, I had a, I had to leave my household. I had to figure out my life. I didn't have I didn't have like a like an uncle I could go to, older brother. You know what I mean? I just figured it out as I went. And just try to figure things out. And the things I did set up my life. Not financially, because I went broke as shit. Mm -hmm. Went to jail and everything. But it taught me a lot of experience. How to communicate with people. Mm -hmm. How to build relationships. How not to be lazy and work hard. Because I've never been lazy. But I ain't going to go work. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> I'm pretty sure the same way, yeah. right? Like, I ain't lazy, but I'm not going to go work. I'm not going to go apply for a job somewhere. But it taught me hard work because when you do those things, it requires a lot of hard work, a lot of precision, a lot of critical thinking. One fuck up, that's it for you, you know? Yeah. And it taught me all those things. It prepared me for the rest of my life. So I, I grew up with, dep- I was very depressed, drinking, and just trying to figure out my life, like, what am I going to do? And then one day, I lived in Riverside. Mm-hmm. I see this Mexican dude driving a Lamborghini, bro. What the hell, the hell is this dude? Young-ass Mexican dude, right? I'm like, what does he do? And I look him up. I'm like, oh, shit, this guy sells insurance. I hit him up. He hooked me with one of his agents. Agent sat down with me. We're like, hey, you want to come sell insurance with us? I learned the company. I was like, oh, it's Primerica? Like, yeah, it's Primerica. Like, damn, my mom used to work with that company before. So I kind of kind of was familiar mm-hmm. with it. We're like, all right, let's get you licensed. So I'm going to go through the whole licensing process. I couldn't even never get licensed, bro, because I was a felon. Oh, never get shit. licensed. Never. And it's crazy because through that whole experience, my girl's the one who got licensed. And she'll go, we'll go on appointments together. I'll talk to you. She'll do everything else. But <laughs> so I learned a lot of skills in Primerica. A lot of professional skills that I never had. I already had the work ethic, but I didn't have those other skills that I needed. So I'll go order an appointment, go order an appointment, and I'll just bring people in for her, you know? And time passed. Like I said, my brother-in-law mm-hmm. passed away. We left it alone. I was like, damn, man, what am I going to do? You know, like, we're not, we're not selling insurance. Like, you know, because my girl was the, the one selling it. And then I started working for, like, Instacart. No Amazon, that was my first job, bro. Instacart, UPS, Amazon driving. I said, like, I'm not going to go to a regular job. I would rather go drive or do something because that's what I did. Just drive. I used to be a driver, you know, just go everywhere, being everywhere. And time passed. Time passed, and I, I just expunged my record not too long ago. Oh, so it's, it sealed it. Yeah, okay. thanks to Donald Trump. Shout out Trump. That's right. That's my tío right there. You Trumpitas. Know? El trompas. You know, arriba la trompisa. <laughs> 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 you know, but, but um, yeah, he decriminalized uh, um, a lot of drug offenses, but specifically marijuana. Really? Yeah, so he decriminalized that. Clean my record. I'm not a felon. I can own guns. I can Ay, vote. Ay, I can vote. Can vote. Hell yeah, bro. And I just got my insurance license, bro. La- no way. Three weeks ago. I barely got it. I took my test. I would pass it every time, and they would never give my license. I fought. I fought. I was like, damn, I want the fucking license. I want it. I just want it. And I finally got it. Are like, you going to use it? Yeah, five years. Yeah, I'm going to use it. I'm going to get my study for my investment license. Secu- I know you're familiar with securities. Yeah. Like six and 63 and all those things. So I'm going to study for that. Hopefully I can get that one, you know, but 
Uh, that, so you're uh, still going to keep the the uh, CMOS business? Oh, yeah. That's the CMOS. <laughs> it was just something that I said I have to do because I wanted to do it. I wanted to get that license, and I could never get it. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get it. You know, because I'm not a quitter, bro. I don't quit on things, you know? But I always wanted to get that license. Thanks to that, thanks to Primerica and my mentors that I had, I learned a lot of things, bro. I learned how to prospect. I learned how to talk to people. I learned how to make cold calls. Dang. Bro, they're in, it, we're in the in the company. Full fucking blown realtor, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I contacted over 10,000 people, like in a span of a year. That's a lot of contacts, bro. Bro, I walk into stores and just prospect and talk to people and get their numbers. Literally. That's how you make money, bro. Yeah, that's how you make money. And now I prospect to this day with my CMOS business. I see somebody eating healthy. Oh, damn, they got kombucha. They got ginger. They got this and that. Hey, you eat healthy, bro, right? I know some of my customers huh. watching. That's how I met you guys. <laughs> but I'll be like, hey, you guys eat healthy, right? Oh, yeah, I do. Look, check out my business. Look, I sell CMOS. I have a CMOS brand. Just like that. You brought up kombucha. What are the health benefits of kombucha? So kombucha has probiotics, beneficial bacteria for your digestion. So Which one is the best kombucha? Honestly, I like to try all of them. Which one would you be like, all right, guys, so there's one this called, is the kombucha that I recommend. There's one called Ology or something like that, and there's another one that I drink at church. My church sells kombucha. I've seen you drink a kombucha that's like brown. And okay. It, like in a glass bottle. I can't remember the name to even say. I remember the name. I just remember how it looks. And I just buy it. I buy it all the time. That's funny that you say that because now you ask me what's the name. I can't think of the name. And I bought it before and I don't fucking know the name. Yeah, you see? But we know how it looks. Yeah. <laughs> but it, is, <laughs> that like, is that good. one good? Yeah, that one's good. I I like to get the, the ginger and lemon one. Okay. There's one that has I'm going to order kombucha. There's one that has cayenne pepper. I'm committed to like do a lot of fucking yeah, to be good, healthy. There's a lot of beneficial bacteria for your body. You know, that's good for you. It's a probiotic. CMOS is a prebiotic, so it's no, there's no bacteria in it. But prebiotic is like fiber, you know, pushes everything out. So that's the difference. You got probiotic and you got prebiotic. Okay. Listen, okay. What's a probiotic? Probiotic is beneficial bacteria for your body, for your intestines, for your stomach. Or all that down there to to digest. And a pre? Pre is a fiber. Push out. Real simple. Can Shit. I name you the probiotics by bacterial name? No, because it's like something something like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know? It's a bacteria, bro. I can't name it off the top of my head. But it's a beneficial bacteria for your digestion, your stomach, and all those things. So that's really good. Fuck. You need that in your body, guys. You need those bacteria in your body. Your body has bacteria, has good bacteria, and it has bad bacteria. What's the best source of fiber? Damn. That you think? That's a good question. I would say whole fruits, whole seeded fruit. Whole okay. seeded fruit. Like, for example? Watermelon. Really? Plums. You know, peaches, you know, melon, mm. cantaloupe, stuff like that. So Peaches. I could fuck with peaches. Whole seeded fruit, though. Seeded fruit. You want the real stuff. Seeded fruit. Not that GMO stuff. Seeded. No, no seedless strawberries. Mm. Oh, all strawberries have seeds, <laughs> you know? Yeah. But um, watermelon, specifically seeded watermelon, is really good for you. Great for your hydration. Really? Great for your digestion. I eat everything, bro. I eat the skin. I eat the seeds. Everything, bro. Really? Yeah. It's good for you. I like it. I love eating watermelon. That's my Even favorite. the exterior part? Yeah. You just wash it. Oh, oh this is what I'm going to get into right now. So the exterior part of the watermelon increases your nitric oxide production in your body, increases blood flow, and gets you heart erections for a longer time. Yeah. So te viene, te pone bien capitán pinga loca. Yeah. So imagine that. <laughs> imagine that come back with CMOS. Sure. I have a video on my page where I made a drink with watermelon. Sea moss, honey, and coconut water. So honey increases your sugar, your energy. Coconut water, your hydration. And the watermelon skin, the nitric oxide. I just made a drink just to drink it. I just made a video about it one day, but it gets you nice and hard. Y'all heard? Yeah. Nice and, uh, nice and, for nice you're and about free, to see. Freaky Who, This episode is about to save no a lot of marriages, a lot of relationships. Like, 
Are you, you're gonna see all of our um, all of our female followers like, babe, I got you watermelon and sea moss. Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's funny because I've been told by like like customer guys like a mindzu. Like, hey, bro, like I don't want to say their name. I don't put them on the spot, you know, but. Hey, bro, like, my dick is hard now, you know? Because <laughs> like, of the sea moss. Because of the sea moss. Like, hey, you didn't used to get hard no more, you know? I'm just telling you, but don't tell nobody. I was like, la like, la mano, you know, la mano. I appreciate you telling me that because I, like I like to hear that feedback. I like to hear those things, like, well, because of me, maybe now he can have kids, you know? I, have, I already have a lot, fool. Maybe he'll start I don't know. I don't, know. I, don't have kids I don't have kids yet, you know? Uh, we just, you know, <laughs> pull out. <laughs> <laughs> pull out <laughs> you're fucking pu if, if you're gonna take CMOS your pull out game gotta be on point bro. it gotta be on point you guys gotta know what you're doing yeah if not you're gonna have a bunch of kids and where can people go by the CMOS uh, your through, CMOS through DM the MOS plug through DM our website our website just takes you to our phone or just text we ship all over the country where right now we're making changes we're gonna start taking card you know the only reason I don't take card it's all these damn scammers right here in the hood bro the 50% off guys Fuck. That's the only reason I don't take card. Those dudes got me paranoid. Because they be doing all, It's <laughs> just so much bullshit going on. So, like, say right, right now, I'm not even going to say the guy's name. I'm like, damn, fool, why you put me on the spot? Now, but, you, I mean, you don't have to say names. But you guys know, you guys probably seen pages and stuff, you know. Hey, we got Wingstop 50% off. Yeah. You know, or we could do um, uh, knots or whatever, you know uh -huh. what I mean? So, you send them what you want. This was ordered for you, and they tell you to go pick it up. Like, hey, your order's ready. And you just send them half. So you spend 200 you pay them 100 But what happens is two, three weeks, maybe in a month down the road, maybe like three days later, they get a chargeback from the merchant. And now you got a wing stop that they place a $200 order from. They gave the order already to the customer. Two, three days later, those $200 charged back to the merchant. And they keep them from Wingstop. Now Wingstop gotta be responsible for that money. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So that's why I took card because you guys got me fucking paranoid. <laughs> so I can figure that part out where they can't smack my. That's what they call it, smacking. Where they can't smack my website. That's a real thing. Yeah, bro, this shit is real. It's real in these streets. I how that I've seen it's real in these streets, man. <laughs> Damn. So people do, like damn, why did you order pollo loco the other day? Uh? <laughs> like, All right. Well, I buy everything with my American Express, so they got my back. You know, so can nobody smack me. <laughs> so that's a good. They, I mean, they use cards that they buy from like sites and stuff like that. But the thing is, what happens is it charges back to the merchant. It charges back to the seller, and now you're asked out. So mm. imagine I get charged back, bro. I get three hundred dollar orders sometimes, four hundred dollar orders. So it's like. Imagine someone orders four hundred dollars of CMOS, and a week later, I already shipped it out, already picked it up, and it charges back. How can you protect yourself from that? Though? I don't know. That's what I want to figure out. Well, figure it out because I think once you have ac people have access to that, yeah. they're gonna blow up. Yeah. So right now we just do everything Zelle, Apple Pay, Chime. You can't call and report your bank. You can't, or not just that. There's only the customers too below, and I never received nothing. You know, so you know they got those people. And be like, oh, I never got it. You know what I mean? Or a customer, for example, I ship their package and I leave it in the mail for three, four days. Now I went bad. What do you think you're going to do? Call their credit card company and be like, hey, I never got it. But if you sell me, you can't charge that shit back. You that's know? true. You, ain't, you, you know? So you got There's a lot to, of shadiness that goes you know, on. You got to right. charge, charge it to the game. So me, I'm responsible, though. If you don't get your product, guess what? I'll replace it, but don't lie to me. I know when people are lying. I like to I like to call them, and I. There's another thing I learned in Prime America. We had a lot of people come in and teach us personality types. Uh -huh. They taught us how to read body language, how to read tonalities. I know when people are lying to me. There's this guy that trained. Do liars of, blink a lot? They don't blink. Some people just blink because they blink. Me. Yeah. I blink a lot. Some so people blink because they're tedious. I have a little episode. So, and me, I move a lot because I can't sit still. Some people might blink because they can't sit still. Some people might do this because they can't sit still. I do all that shit. You know, so there's people that lie, and you can tell well, they're lying just by certain, by oh, uh, like their tonalities. Um, yeah, well, uh, yep. uh, 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 yeah. liar, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. So there's people that actually train. They train law enforcement on how to detect lies and people. 
I've taken psychology classes and how I understand different personality types. Mm-hmm. Like you're an A type, you're an action type person. You're also a technical person. That's why you have it all nice and neat. You got all nice cameras, everything. OCD like a mother. Yeah, OCD. Me, I'm an A. I don't got. I'm technical, but I'm on mess. Like not not messy, but I just I yeah. leave stuff everywhere. You know, like, oh, I left this over here. If I leave my phone on the table, I expect it to be there the next day. <laughs> 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 you know, it's just my girl will tell me, "Why do you always leave your shoes right there?" I don't like looking for my shoes. I can't put my shoes away. I have to leave them right there. I have them all lined Damn. up because it gives me like anxiety having to go look for them. But so we learn those things. One, how to, because you have to learn how to close. You have to learn how to mm-hmm. communicate with people, different types of backgrounds. In any business, for example, you, in real estate, you're going to run into your blue collar guy. Mm-hmm. You're going to run into a teacher, a doctor. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So you're going to run into different types of people from different backgrounds Yep. that you need to be able to communicate with. And then if you can, you can do business with them. You know what I'm saying? Like me, you could, I could be in the hood today. And tomorrow I'll be in a room like this you with some business people. Like, I don't even want to say, but I've been with some business people, mm-hmm. you know, where I can't even talk about it too much. But it's crazy because a person from the hood that's not educated can get into any rooms and have access to certain people by just being confident in what you're doing and what you're talking about and knowing how to communicate with them. That's simple. And people think, well, I don't I know people had asked me, how do you meet certain people? Like, hey, well, I go out there and I talk to people. I communicate with people. I express myself with people. I, I show them who I am, and people automatically want to talk to you. Want to well, get you to have to you. be able to read the room and, read the learn, room, exactly. and learn how to adapt. Adaptability is key. Yeah, it's super key. It's like you could be, yeah, I could go to anywhere in HP, uh-huh. and I'm going to fit in. I'm going to fit in anywhere I go. I'm going to fit in in any room. I'm going to fit in... Uh, I'm going to read the room, adapt, and be able to communicate efficiently and effectively, no matter who the fuck is in front of me. Exactly. You That's heard? About. That's a bar. And if, <laughs> you, and if you guys are into business, into real estate, into any type of business, you guys have to build your skill level up. Because if you're not willing to do those things, you're going to stay behind. Yeah. Day. Oh, also, too, social media is very important. If you guys have a business, I see it a lot of times. They try to be low key. They try to have it private. Nobody's ever gonna know about your business. I told you, if we we'll start doing videos, yeah. You see, I listen to them. <laughs> videos, you know, so that is very important, guys. That you guys are willing to do those things. Learn to adapt. Get out of your comfort zone. You know what I mean. And yeah. that, and that's what America taught mm-hmm. me. The streets taught me. And and that's what we learn. That's what we learn to advance in life. That's what's up. And without God, nothing is possible. There you go. What advice would you give somebody that is trying to transition from horrible eating habits to a healthier to a health to healthier choices? It's life or death. If you don't change the way you eat, you're gonna die. Or you're probably going to have a very complicated life and you're going to repeat the same process with your kids and you're going to see your kids die and get ill and sick because you chose not to take care of your health. Honestly. At the end of Damn. The day, you know what I mean? And and that people say, well, what are you going to say like that? It's the truth. No, it's the truth. It's the truth. If you're four or 500 pounds, well, guess what? Lil Joselito is going to be three, 400 pounds. He's going to have dark spots on his body, diabetes, you know, and no erections. Can't even get a girl. Stinks. Uh, you know, so. Got me with the erections. But <laughs> <laughs> well, it's very important, guys, that you guys do it not just for yourself. If you don't love yourself enough, do it for your children, for your wife, for your kids. Because if you don't, you're going to repeat the same process again. And you're going to see the result of your how can I say it? Of your undisciplined life. Mm. You're going to see that shit. You're going to yeah. definitely see it. I've seen it happen a lot. This sat at me the other day. I was at Walmart. And I see this little kid. He's like super big, bro. Drinking a Fanta. The parents too. Like, damn, man. You're setting them up for failure. Fuck. It's the reality though. It's the truth. You're setting them up for failure. Like, you're damn. Saying, you're setting them up to an early death. 
Yes. Well, we need to make those changes. You know, you, you have know? to make those changes. That's why I make the videos. I make them. Also, me vale madres. You know what I say? I don't care. Yeah. Because I just want to share the truth. I know what it is to be big and unhealthy and falling asleep on a stairwell, not be able to get your dick hard. You know, I know how that feels. Fuck. <laughs> you know, so. That's what's up. Well, thank you for sharing, bro. Yeah. We appreciate you. All you guys out there, you like this episode, you need to hit that subscribe button on there. Follow us because we're going to bring you way more dope-ass interviews. The Moz Plug, my brother, thank you so much for stopping by. Appreciate it, bro. And we out. Let me see. Let's try it. Let's try it. Let's try, try it. it. Do whatever you do, do not double dip the spoon. Right, so no double Don't double dipping. And I'm, if you can't handle the taste, you can always mix it in your smoothie. First of all, like first of all, let me try this. Nah, si miedo, compa. Now you can't use a spoon no more, though. No way. Yeah. Flip it around. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, now I can't. You can't use it no more. You got to get a new one. What? This? The spoon. Oh, this one? Yeah. Why? Because you just, you already you already touched it. Oh, now you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, I'm going to do a video tomorrow. About, because I'm very, like, fucking weird like that. Like, I'm going to do a video of me having one spoon, right? Yeah, one spoon, but do not double dip. Because if you double dip, you're going to get the bacteria from your mouth. You're going to introduce it to the jar. It has no preservatives. It's going to... That's what you mean. Yeah, it's going to get molded up. It's going to go bad. Do not double dip on these guys. And make sure that you try it. Because I am. I'm all about being healthy now. And we out, baby. Let's go.